हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक एंड कंटिन्यूइंग आर सीरीज ऑफ टेंसेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस नाउ व्हाट वी मीन बाय द कॉन्टिन्यूटी हियर कॉन्टिन्यूटी मींस द वर्क इज एक्चुअली हैपनिंग ओके सो द फॉर्म वी यूज इन प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंसेस सब्जेक्ट प्लस इज एम आर प्लस ing form of the verb now ing form of a verb is a very important because in actually it is representing the continuity of the tense see verbs like working is made up of basically main verb of work and ing to represent the continuity of the verb okay so there can be uh, so many verbs like this like working eating learning uh, sleeping so many verbs are possible so the main important thing in present continuous tense is ing form because it represent that action is actually going on at the time of speaking now let us see this thing when we have i as a subject we use am with it and when we have he she it and singulars we use is with this subjects and if we have you we they and plural we use are on is am are we are also having a video if you want to understand the very basic concept of is am are you can go and watch that but for now we have to just understand that if the subject is i i am going to use am with it if the subject is he she it or any singular noun or pronoun we are going to use is with that and if the subjects are you we they and any plurals we are going to use are with them okay now let us see where we can use a present continuous tense to express an action that is going on at the time of speaking that means whenever a speaker is discussing about something the event is actually happening like he is reading means at the moment reading is going on okay next one is i am learning see at this moment of time when i am speaking this i am actually learning or we can say they are playing so when we have to express an action that is going on at the time of speaking we use continuous tenses now present continuous tenses are also used for a, an action that is planned or arranged to take place in the near future that we have already planned that i am going to party tonight it is a planning here see i have used continuous tense here okay so for such actions which is already planned but they are going to happen in near future we use a continuous tense like i am living for delhi today here also i have used continuous tense now present tense is also used to describe the changes that is that are taking places uh, uh, on a daily basis or in a progressive way such as pollution is increasing day by day see i have used continuous tense here because this is a undergoing a process and uh, we cannot determine that pollution is increased in a single day no it is not possible pollution is increasing at like you know day by day suggesting here that it is a undergoing a process similarly prices are increasing these days here again this is a process which suggest the continuity of the work so we used continuous tense to describe the changes which are taking place on a progressive rate now 
present continuous tense is also used uh, to show for a temporary action which is for a specific duration of time it can be possible that the action is not actually happening at the time of speaking but there should be uh, like a process going on that means the work should be under process at that time like see i am learning music this suggests that this is a temporary action i'm not going to learn music for the whole life it will end in a specific time so i am learning music is showing us a temporary action and hence we used present continuous with it now let us see one more example to clear the concept i am watching a movie see movie will be finished in a specific time if it is a 3 hour movie or a 2 hour movie it is going to end so this is again a temporary action and we need to use present continuous action let us see one more example on it i am reading a book see reading is under process but we know that um, one day or in a specific time book will be finished hence we use temporary action for it and we have used a present continuous tense for it similarly there can be many examples like he is watching cricket and students are playing all these such a kind of examples comes under the temporary actions so we have used a present continuous tense for them now let us see the exceptions in case of present continuous tense a few verbs are not used in the continuous form that means they don't possess ing form such kind of verbs are verbs of perception verbs of verbs of perception can be see hear smell and notice these kind of verbs are not used in the continuous form again verbs of emotion like want i cannot use want as wanting that would be wrong so uh, it will be want wish desire and can be feel like etc there can be many verbs uh, of emotion again uh, next one is verb of appearance appearance uh, means to look and to seem to appear we cannot use such verbs in continuous form so this is it for present continuous tense you can practice some more examples and can understand in more better way in our next video we will going we will uh, try to understand some more parts of tenses till then keep learning keep watching